This is all part of the uh, Tesla program. It's a program that's, that's run by the USGS. And it's basically trying to teach tribes um, um, technology. It is important for tribal water resources managers to develop rating curves at streamflow gauging stations for all ranges of streamflow, often due to the flashy nature of high flow events and the lack of bridges or cableways at existing tribal stream gauges. The slope area method is often used to calculate the discharge for high flow events. The USGS is working with tribes to develop rating curves for the entire range of flows at tribal stream gauges using the continuous slope area method, or CSA method. Using the continuous slope area method, technicians can calculate the entire flood hydrograph using the data collected by the CSA sensors once the floodwaters have receded. With a traditional standard slope area method, we are only getting data for the one point in time that the water levels are highest. CSAs continually record data so that we have a good record of the entire hydrograph and not just the peak. It is critically important that the channel geometry is known at each cross section, at each sensor in the CSA reach. When CSA sensors are installed, each cross section is surveyed so that the dimensions of the channel at each sensor are known. These CSAs were installed as redundant sensors in sites that already have low flow gauging stations. The CSAs piggyback off existing tribal stream gauges, providing high flow data when the low flow gauges are compromised by high flow events. These sensors continuously collect data for months at a time and provide a continuous record of what occurred at the site.